Let's talk about Beast Academy math curriculum. Now, Beast Academy is one of the strangest math curriculums that I've ever used, but it's actually really, really cool. And I think this is really beneficial for kids that need either like extra enrichment, maybe they have that gifted type brain where they need that creative and critical thinking, or kids that maybe have ADHD and can't sit through a boring dry lesson and they need this like comic booky style colorful curriculum. Phenomenal choice. And I'm holding the Beast Academy textbook here, but they do have an online option that we use primarily. And I will show you what that looks like. Now it sets Beast Academy apart from all the rest is that they are using this comic book style, I don't know, method to teach the math. So instead of you sitting in front of your kid and like reading them this long, boring math lesson of how to do an addition problem, they turn it into a story. So the characters are the same throughout all the levels. So they get to know the characters um, and it will tell a little story and then somehow incorporate the math. It's actually really genius. I, I can't quite explain it, but when you start a new lesson, again, it's going to be a little story and then they'll get into their activity. So if you are using the physical textbook, they can do the work right in the book. If you're using the online portion, you can either do the teaching and then have them go online and do the lessons or the computer will just do all the teaching for you, which is what I'm about to show you. One more thing about the textbook actually. So you can see that this is all level one, but this is level one A. Then you have level one B, level one C, level one D. So it's four books within level one. So if your child is placed in level one based on their age, which I'll show you how they break it down, then you can decide, do you want to start with one A or are they a little more advanced and they can start with one C? Like you can make that decision, which I really like instead of just giving you one big fat textbook for the year. So I'm on their website because I just want to show you what it's talking about here. This is not a spiral based curriculum. It is a mastery based curriculum. So they stay in the same subject or concept for a while before moving on. They have to master it before they'll give them something new to learn. It is a problem solving style curriculum, which is why it's a little bizarre when you first started because it's not your average, like sit down and do a bunch of problems um, and lots of games and puzzles, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to log into my daughter's account and um, show you what I mean. I'm going to show you a level that is kind of how Beast Academy works when it comes to this problem solving thing. So we're going to replay the lesson now. They can choose to read through their lesson or they can watch the video. After we put numbers in all the squares of a sum grid puzzle, the numbers on this side have to equal the sums of their rows. So when I was watching with that, that with my daughter, I was like, what in the world? She is not going to get this. And then she actually got into the lesson and she ended up loving it. I need to make sure whatever comes here plus one is going to equal two and whatever comes here plus six is going to equal seven. So starting off easy, we obviously know it's one submit. Okay. Now it does show you that you got it correct, but it does explain why it's correct. And then up here, it's tracking what they're getting correct. So this is why it's a mastery based curriculum. Once they answer so many questions correct, they get a star. If they answer them all correct, they get their three stars. If they missed a couple, they're only going to get two stars. If my daughter gets one or two stars, sometimes two, I'll let it go. But if she only gets one star, I just have her do the whole lesson over again. And that's why I like this because it's that mastery based. They do have placement tests too on their website that I'll show you here. So here's the placement test where you can go in and you can decide like, does your kid need to be at level one? Here's an idea of the age ranges. So ages six to eight, beginning with level one. That's why I put my daughter in level one. But then I realized, you know, she probably could have started with level two. And then here you can see the um, different placement tests for all the chapters too. Like, are they, are they ready for chapters one through three? You can click and look through the lesson and they can do this little placement test and you can decide, are they ready or are they not? Here's a library of all of the lessons. So you can see it shows you what textbook it's coming from. This is the one a book counting shapes and comparing. And then as you move down to one D you're getting into your measurement and your problem solving. Another cool thing is you can flip through and see what level two is. So let, I really should have started her at level two, but I just, I wanted to see what level one was like. So level two, now this doesn't necessarily mean second grade. They actually do it based on ages, but you can go through and see like, does your kid know this already? Have they already mastered this? Um, but you can see down here, a lot of problem solving, um, <laughs> lots, lots of problem solving. Um, here's your level three. And you do have access to all these levels. So let's say my kid's ready for division. I can go right into this level on division. And this is the full PDF of the textbook, which I love that. So you have access to all of the levels. 
This is the theater section where it has all of the videos in one spot. So if I feel like she needs to go back and watch the video on making a 10, we can go right into this theater and click on that. Same thing, it goes through all of the different levels, all of the different units, and you can click on whatever video it is you need to. Here's an example of what I mean by how it's just, it's very bizarre, but cool. So this is a problem solving activity called block towers where they have to decide how the blocks were placed and they write the letters here. And so they have to use this problem solving method. That's what I'm saying with these like gifted kids brains. This is so perfect to figure out how these blocks were stacked, stacked and in what order. And all of the lessons, now this is just the problem solving section that I'm showing you here, but you can see it's just very unique, a very unique way of learning. Uh, my daughter is loving it, but she is not she's not like the creative brain type. So she does get frustrated with a lot of this because she's like, can they just give me the problem? Like, I just want the problem and I want to do the answer, but they do make you do some like kind of roundabout ways of getting to the answer, which works for some kids. Um, overall, my daughter does really like this, uh, but it is different. The way that we've been using Beast Academy is basically if we finish our math lesson early, or if there's a day where I just don't feel like teaching math with Christian Light Education, I'll just have her do a level on Beast Academy. Sometimes on our weeks off of homeschool, um, I will just have her do a couple Beast Academy lessons because it feels like a game. It doesn't really feel like they're doing a, a math lesson per se. Um, so we're kind of using it as a supplement. However, I do know a lot of people that are using this as a full math curriculum and they're loving it and they're doing great with it. Um, but it's just, it's very unique. It's unique. I don't think they have a free trial, but I, I do think they're pretty affordable. I get a lot of questions about what curriculums would work well for kids with ADHD. I feel like this one would for sure, because it's engaging. It's got the comic book style there. The lessons are short. Um, and it's just, it's unique. It's a very unique way of teaching. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Again, we've only done level one. We probably will invest in level two as well. I just like having it as a supplement. We're not necessarily using it as a full curriculum, but it's nice to have something to fall back on.